diary. I often ask myself, what is beauty? I know that everyone has their own opinion, but I believe, I believe that beauty is something that can be felt physically and emotionally. I believe that beauty reflects one's personality and relationship with God. I once read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 through 4, and I quote, Your beauty should not come from outerward ornaments, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is great worth in God's sight. Our generation is so caught up in what everybody else thinks, instead of what we think and what we believe. We often believe that everything on TV is reality. We often risk our lives trying to make the impossible possible, losing sight on what's really important. Matthew chapter 23, verse 28. In the same way, the outside you appear to people is righteous, but on the inside, you're full of hypocrisy and wickedness. See, it's impossible for one to be happy if one's not happy with oneself. I believe that's a dangerous stage in life, the first sign of depression. And sooner or later, comes suicide. 25 million Americans suffer from depression a year. Over 50% of all people who died from suicide died from depression. say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I believe that beauty is in the eye of the one who's being beholded. If you can't find yourself beautiful, loving, kind, then how do you expect someone else to find you that way? You must first love yourself for who you are. Before somebody else can love you for who you are. It's sad how looks attract us to a person rather than feeling. You'll find out in this world that the ugliest people happen to be the most kindest, gentle-hearted, loving and caring people of them all. But no one cares enough to know.
is just to say, I met a girl today, the most beautiful girl I have ever met. I don't believe in love at first sight, because love can't be seen, just like beauty, it can only be felt.